So let's go a little further into spontaneity. I suggest to you that if you were to list all of the skills that an actor needs to possess, picture the index in the back of an acting textbook, you know, and it's got characterization and emotional access and emotional range, spontaneity, problems and actions, uh, objectives, subtext, substitutions, personalizations, as if, imaginary centers, being in the moment, effective memory, et cetera, et cetera. I'm telling you, that on that whole list, there's one item that's more important than every other item. And that item is spontaneity. Why? Look at the nature of the dramatic art form. What's it all based on? It's all based on the idea that there's an audience watching. And that audience needs to have a feeling that what they are seeing is occurring for the first time ever right then and there, and the audience member just happens to be lucky to be a witness to it at that moment. You're a fly on the wall who flew into George and Martha's living room the night they're having this big fight. And if the audience member does not have that feeling, you know, they're sitting there watching a play, Looks like they've been doing this eight times a week for two years. It doesn't work. Or if you're watching a movie and you're watching a scene and you're going, God, it looks like this scene was cobbled together from a million different takes. I even have a hunch there's some reshoots in there. It doesn't work. The dramatic art form only works when the audience member has this feeling that it's all happening right then and there for the first time ever. And I'm lucky to be sitting there and observing this. And that's spontaneity. And without spontaneity, the audience member does not have that feeling. Look, you could take three different actors. Actor one, tremendous emotional range and access. Fabulous. Meryl Streep-like. But unlike Meryl Streep, Actor one has very limited abilities in the realm of spontaneity. Then you could take actor number two. Fantastic character range. Boy, you can't even recognize this actor in movie after movie, like a chameleon. But their spontaneity, not so good. Actor number three. Well, no character range at all plays the same character in every single movie. You've seen that actor. His emotional range? Well, that runs the gamut from A to B. <laughs> but boy, is this actor spontaneous. Of those three actors, it's actor number three who has a shot at a successful career. And the other two don't. Because an actor who works without spontaneity, lacks presence. And an actor who lacks presence has no shot at a successful career. Also, an actor who works without spontaneity lacks authenticity. You simply don't believe their work. That person's not going to have a successful career. Spontaneity carries absolute truth. Now think about it. Can you think of a large group of people that are always spontaneous? Anybody? Sierra. I can't hear you. Sierra Club. What is she saying? Sierra, Sierra Club. Sierra Club? <laughs> okay. I don't see that line in the script. <laughs> Anybody else? Children. Well, you're close. Not children. By the time they're two years old, they're as inauthentic as any adult. You know that to be true. Animals. Babies. Babies are always spontaneous, right? It's polymorphic sexuality. They're always spontaneous. Now, you have never walked by a baby's crib and looked in and saw the baby playing with the mobile and the rattle and everything. You never walked by and went, I didn't believe that moment. <laughs>
Never happened. <laughs> Babies are always spontaneous and they're always truthful. Spontaneity carries absolute truth. 